Welcome, my name is Cassie. I hope you're having a good day or had a good day wherever you're going to be in this world. Today I am doing my April BoxyCharm unboxing. They finally sent it to me this month on time and kind of early. Um, last month I got it like in the middle of the month. I will definitely link that in a card somewhere. If you are wondering what is on my eyes, my face is not done. My eyes are not done. I still need to do under here. Um, the video will be up first. It is using Jeffree Star's new Blue Blood palette. I love it. And I'll also link that video in a card above somewhere. But basically, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about BoxyCharm really quick. You know that usually my BoxyCharms are try-on. If my hair looks weird, I'm sorry, I just got a haircut. And it's kind of like super layered. I love it. I've been needing a haircut, but it's kind of like frizzy a little bit. But anyways, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box where you get skincare, makeup, you get uh, nail stuff, you get some like brushes and stuff like that. Um, basically, it is $21 a month. You get, I want to say four to five, but then again, I also want to say like five to six full-size products. Um, sometimes you get brushes, sometimes you get face palettes. It really just depends. Uh, you get a lot of stuff from Sephora, you get high-end stuff and this and that. Um, if you know how I do my boxy charms, pretty much is I try on everything that I can. This month is going to be a little bit different. I will leave boxy charms um, website down below. If you want to sign up, you can sign up. I also follow them on Instagram because I am able to see some sneak peeks. So before this video gets too long, make sure that you have subscribed to my channel because it's free. And I upload twice a week, one on Wednesdays and once on Sundays. So you kind of like get a video in the middle of the week and then in the beginning end of the week kind of sort of whatever you consider Sunday to be. Now that you definitely liked the video and subscribed, we can go ahead and unbox my boxy charm. It is going to be a little bit different. Um, I already used a palette and I did get a palette in this box. I do have to peek, if you will, into my boxes to make sure that what I'm applying, what I'm, what? I do have to peek inside of my monthly boxes to make sure that I am not applying what I already have, except this month is a little bit different. So when you open up the box, it normally comes with a card that tells you everything that is in the box. This month's theme is peace, love, and boxy, and yeah, at the end, we will total up everything of how much everything costs, and we will go from there. So the first thing that we have in the box is this right here. And I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. We always get Luxie brushes in our BoxyCharm. Not every month, but um, we do, like every time we get a brush, it's like Luxie. Actually, I think last month I did get two brushes. I got a powder brush and a highlighting brush, except I don't know who they're by. So these are actually really cute. Actually, I have some BoxyCharm brushes so we got these, they're gold and sparkly Luxie brushes um, in a boxy charm, and these are pink and they kind of go into like a goldish mustardy color um, ombre kind of, can you see that? So this is a Luxie 512 small contouring brush and I didn't realize that I had this brush in here otherwise I would have done my contour with it today. But Luxie brushes are really good. I do enjoy them. I actually love getting brushes in my BoxyCharm. The more brushes, the better. This is a Luxie 209 large shader, so it'd be really good for your outer corner. And then this is a Luxie small shader. This would be really good for packing on um, pressed pigment and packing on glitter if you wet your brush. I really do enjoy these. So I'm going to put it back in its package. These, this is the Summer Days brush set. It, I love getting their brushes, I really do. That alone is $28. BoxyCharm is $21 a month, so this is $7 more than what you get. Every month you get more than $100 worth of product. So we're gonna go into the next thing, which is this right here. And it is this Bodyography, I think that's how you say it. Bodyography Bali Bronze Eye Pencil. Now again, I'm not going to use this because this is pretty much just showing you what I got my boxy charm. I'm not going to use this because it's just going to clash against my look. I want to use a yellow. So it is a bronze color. So it's definitely not what I want to do with my look. So we're not going to use that today. And that is 
$14. Oh my gosh, I thought there was like a dead worm in my box. So the next thing is this right here. And this is a Peel Holographic Lip Gloss in, I think it says Trendsetter. This is $21. We are going to use this, but I need to apply my lipstick first. So let me be right back. It probably looks super crazy and that I have no lips, but I don't want any lipstick to be too pink, too purple, too brown, too anything. And I feel like this is like the nudiest color that I have. I did try and use another one, but it was too pink. And this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade I'm Nude. So we are gonna go ahead with the Appeal Cosmetics lip gloss. If I can take off the package. So I feel like this lip gloss is gonna go great with this look, especially because of the lightest pieces in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and apply it. Let's see if this has a smell. Nope, no smell. This is weird. It's like I'm trying to get in there and it's just pushing it right back out. And it doesn't pick up a lot of product, which I don't like. Like I have to go in a bunch of times in order for it to work. So truthfully, I'm not a huge fan of this lip gloss. Let me pull you guys in a little bit closer because I feel like you're a million, trillion, gazillion miles away. Um, okay, so the lip gloss isn't bad. It's not sticky. It's not oily. It's not uncomfortable feeling. It actually feels really nice. I think the only annoying part is getting it in and out of there, which is, again, the most annoying part. So we're going to go into the next product right here, which is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder Loose Powder Highlight. I know a lot of people love their loose powder highlights, but I've never tried them. Um, this retails for $27, and this is Purple Dream. Ooh, it's like a goldish iridescence almost. Let me see if I can open it. I don't wanna be too messy with it, so I am just gonna open up three little holes. It is purple. It's like a goldish, pretty much gold is like the main color, but the iridescence and like holographicness of it is more of like a pinkish purplish color. So it may clash with this look, but we're just about to find out. And I'm gonna take, actually, uh, I don't really have, okay, since I'm not really trying anything else in this video, I will use the Luxie brush, the small, We'll use this one because the contouring brush is going to be too big. So we're going to use the Luxie 209 Large Shader Brush to highlight. This is actually a really pretty color. So let's go ahead and try it. It's probably going to be so glittery. I'm so nervous. Ooh, that's actually pretty purple. Uh, can you see that? So I don't want to use that because it's just going to put one line on my face. So I'm going to use my Morphe M501, which is what I usually use. Super glowy. Wowzers. So that's really pretty. I'm excited to continue to use this product. The undertone and just the way that it shines in the light. Can you, can you even see that? Or am I moving my head? Let me put damp sponge over it. So the next product that we're also not going to use, I told you the price of that. Um, this is an eyeshadow palette from Pure, Pure, Pure the Complex Authority. It's the Festival palette and this retails for $36. And it also comes with a package of their eyeshadow primer. So that's pretty cool to like test it out, see if you like it. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's got like your fun summer like background of what everybody would love and the sunglasses and it says festival. And then when you open it up, it does come with a card. It kind of smells good. This is the, these are the colors in the palette. Um, these two colors right here look very promising. I'm actually really excited to dive into this. 
If you are interested in a look with this palette, like the video and if you don't want to like the video, you can even comment down below and just let me know. I will definitely do a look on this. I just want to swatch these. Okay, they kind of feel wet. They're like legit glitters. They're like legit glitters. That is pretty freaking awesome. Now I'm gonna add up the total of the entire box and all the products that I received in my box and I will let you know in one. So the total of this entire box with all the products this month is $126. So you are getting $105 more than what you are paying for your box. So all of the products that you receive are $105 more than what you are paying for, which I think is awesome. I think that that's all I had to say. Um, if you want to check out any of my other boxy charms, um, I will leave the playlist link down below. Don't be afraid to check it out. If you liked my video, please subscribe and be sure to like it. Um, again, if you want to know this look right here and see the finished product, then check out my Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette. I will also leave it in the card and down below. Be sure to check it out. I hope that you guys enjoyed my April's BoxyCharm unboxing, and I will see you in my next one.